want to make more money in real estate sales, well, we have to identify what is the difference between a gambler and a seller. Listen, we know our job every single week as fearless agents is to set five or more appointments. What if though they're with gamblers? Well, that's okay because we don't want to work with gamblers. So we must first identify what is the difference between a seller and a gambler. As we set these five appointments, our job, our goal, our objective is determined. Are they sellers or gamblers? The seller is someone that is motivated. They want to move. They have a reason to move and they are reasonable with their price. A gambler is no reason to move. They have no desire to follow the market. In fact, they want to overprice their home. How many of you guys have ever had a seller uh, that really wants to sell their home for more than it's worth? Almost all of them do. But the difference between the seller and the gambler is the seller will start to understand through the pricing presentation why it makes sense to price it right the first time versus put it $50,000 over market value. So here's a scenario for a gambler. A gambler says something like this. If I can get $300,000 for my house, then I'll move because I just want a little bit better yard. A seller's gonna say something like, listen, I'd prefer to get $300,000, but I know we're only gonna get what the market's gonna give us, and I have to sell, and I gotta be gone by June 1st, because I got a job transfer to Chicago. Which type of seller would you like to work with? The gambler that says, hey, if I can get this so I can get something bigger, awesome. Or the seller that says, hey, I'm moving to Chicago with or without selling my house on June 1st. I got to sell my house because if not, I got to leave my wife and kids here until it does sell. Which type of person would you like to move with? Here is a scenario for a seller. They're getting divorced. The decree says they have to sell. They're moving no matter what. Now you might wanna charge more for these sellers, right? Or the guy that says, hey, I'm in no hurry. I can wait all year long. The guy that says, I'm gonna not sell unless I get 350, and you know that house is worth $300,000. When we get great at identifying a gambler versus a seller, we will tend to not set appointments with as many gamblers. We will tend to set more points with sellers, but here's what I do want you to understand. I don't care what skill level you are as a fearless agent, you're gonna make mistakes. When you get aggressive to go set appointments and go get contracts signed, you're gonna make mistakes and set appointments with gamblers. And sometimes you're gonna make mistakes because of your uneasiness and your fear of not getting more deals of accidentally signing a gambler instead. Take them as learning opportunities in order to get better at identifying future sellers versus gamblers. And if you accidentally hired a gambler to list with you, feel okay to get rid of that gambler, to fire them, to get them out of your life. The only way that you're gonna go get more deals is by stop losing fewer good deals, meaning stop wasting time, effort, and energy with gamblers. Stop wasting your life away with gamblers. Now, if you are gonna take a little bit of a risk of a gambler, do it on going on a presentation to really make sure that they are a gambler and be okay with not signing them. But if you really wanna get great at making a lot of money, become an expert at knowing, does this person have a reason to move? Are they motivated to move? Are they willing to price their home to sell? And do they trust me and they're willing to follow me what I have to say? The way you get more sellers committed to you is you get even better at your fearless agent presentation. That's getting really great at delivering the pricing strategy. So go to fearlessagent.com or talk to Bob at 480-385-8810 to learn more about sellers versus gamblers and say, hey, Colton told me to call you and ask for a detailed version of what's the difference between a seller and a gambler. And he said, you'll be able to tell me. All right, we'll see you guys later.